the updates. Guys and welcome to another vlog. Look at the smile on my face. I know it's become too cliche. Look at the smile on my face, but it's a BMW ride. That this is the M8, the flagship BMW in India. Costs 2.5 crores, but looks like a billion dollars. Honestly, such a fantastic design, and of course, it gets a. Okay, we will discuss about all that more later. But don't you think this is an absolutely scintillating machine? The only doubt I have is, should you pay 70 lakhs more for this over the M5? Hmm, that's a good question. So right now I've just come to this amazing place to do a photo shoot. Unfortunately, because the sun is setting, you can see that right there. Yeah, the sun is setting. Everyone is here, so it's very crowded and guys, very lumpy. So, I don't know how to shoot a photo shoot. However, the good news is that I actually had some photo shoot done today morning itself with the Q2. So, it's a little bit of work, but there's nothing to shoot in the vlog. There's no driving vlog shoot, no walk around shoot. Where are you from? That's all tomorrow shoot on the way, which means tomorrow I have to get up really early. But it's worth it because it's the M8. The level of attention to detail in this car is another level altogether. Okay, just look at this. Okay, image light is blue color. As soon as I open the door, see the color actually changes to red, and this is blinking red to tell people behind that you know what the door is open of a BMW, so you don't come and bang into the door. That's not all. Look at this. Okay, continue looking at it. Okay, these are Bowers and Wilkins speakers, Bowers and Wilkins, and as soon as I turn on the audio, look at how they change. In fact, I'll have to turn off the lights so you won't see me for a bit. But here you go. Just look at the attention detail how it actually goes the light mind blowing na well that's not all when you open the door see what happens there the m8 lights up now the thing is it's evening it's not night completely but i've parked the car it looks so beautiful at night i love the lights the attention detail on bmw cars is just going another level altogether but yes mercedes also does a lot of special things which i personally like but how is the car to drive i will tell you tomorrow because right now it's time to go up change freshen up and then go for a nice spirited night drive in the bmw m8 because night time is the right time but the cabin is all black so it kind of feels a little claustrophobic because there's no sunroof on offer but it gets a carbon fiber roof but still it's a heavy car as such kind of feels light to drive feels a little hairy as well but that's something which is expected considering how the m5 competition drives but i still love it i love the m8 haters are going to say the Mercedes GT 63 S 4 door 4 Matic plus coupe is better. Well, he does a right probably. It's a very diesel mini. I know, I know, I know, you can see a sleepy me right now, but last night was so busy. I drove the car so much, so much, so much, so much that I drained the full fuel only. In this case, I had to refuel, but I got a good experience of the car because this M8 has a lot of safety features which I'm not really experienced in other BMW cars. So then I was preparing for the vlog, which I'm going to do right now. Although I'm running late because it's winter, it's a bit sun down there. Because if it gets bright, it's going to be a whitewash. Okay, look at the excitement on my face. You know, usually I do head mount when cars which don't have a sunroof. This car doesn't have a sunroof. I had to do head mount. I had so stress me that I got this tape, TM tape, and I will chip on the GoPro mount. But now, obviously, the roof will not chip on the roof. I managed to do it with the suction cup. I put a window and a good view. Bhi tha. So I'm so happy the vlog is done. It is so amazing. And then, I took a photo here. So one of the subscribers actually was riding a Java Peraki stop. Met me. So it's always so nice to meet you guys. And I feel so good. I've slept three hours in the past two days. Yeah. Three hours only I've been sleeping in the past two days. But I'm not going to be able to do Because once you get in the M8, all sleep goes because of the colossal acceleration of this beast. What a car! Absolutely lovely. But I still have the M5 competition. And I still have the E63 AMG over the M5 competition. I still have the C63 AMG over the E63 AMG. My goodness, I'm so freaking juicy. But I'll tell you something about the car right now. Let's get driving. Air conditioning off first thing. We get into drive mode. I get into M1 which is already programmed for absolute bonkersness and we turn on the M mode which basically is the crazy inf instrument cluster revving the motor and absolutely bonkers the acceleration of this guy is just another level altogether 
okay it's quick to change lanes but it kind of feels hairy the steering could have offered much more feel and feedback as such so i think they have actually gone for a lighter setup in that sense and they have also gone for a lighter setup in terms of the suspension stiffness so it's not very stiff it is obviously stiff but not as stiff as i would have expected thus ride quality is actually quite acceptable however the problem is that it doesn't feel as stable as i would have expected it to it kind of wavers along too much and the heavy braking also it's like moving along and you have to counter correct time and again but forget the ride and handling balance for a moment it's good enough for a gt car but not really impressive for a car which has an m badge because you would expect it to be much more dynamic much more stable and much more composed especially the steering wheel could have been a lot better but this engine is just another level altogether sound could have been better amg sounds so much better the thing is fake sounds are coming but they don't help the cause because it doesn't feel as loud or as mad as i would have expected it to but that said the gearbox is so fast with shifts that manual mode is absolutely useless in this car because you can't keep up with shifts in fact i'll just show you right now i've got into manual mode here okay we're going to get into second gear yeah, there we are into second gear and 7200 rpm red line it feels the fastest when it's shifting on its own because this is not a dual clutch gearbox a torque converter unit but still really very fast with shifts and obviously it's got four wheel drive and you can opt for a multitude of options in fact look at the screen the number of options to change the various parameters from the engine the suspension obviously and the steering wheel and even for the brakes yeah and you have to turn off dsc if you want to get into four wheel drive sport which lets you drift a bit but that is only for drifting and if you really want to drift further or kill yourself then there is a two wheel drive mode which disengages the front axle power goes to the rear wheels only and that is absolute madness now you have to really slow down over bad roads even though the ground clearance is actually quite acceptable i never thought that the ground clearance would be so good you never face any issue with the ground clearance but you go 1 km per hour faster i don't know why people stop right in the center of the road but you go 1 km per hour faster on a bad road and guess what happens well the car gets a little uncomfortable but forget all that open road and bye bye everybody that is the level of thrust on offer this m8 is fantastic but i like i already told you outside i'm still going to choose an m5 over this and an e63 over an m5 and a c63 over that and uh story goes on and on and on and on the what's with the camera men bobbing all over the place that's with your driving funny thing is people all around now with their camera phones they're shooting the car that's how much they love the m8 and this car has so many safety systems where is this button you see like it's insane you can configure obviously what you want what you don't want like lane departure warning side collision assist lane i mean lane keep assist what not everything works flawlessly well in fact uh, i love the cruise control system press this button you can cruise it follows a car ahead and lane keep works so beautifully well on this car it's fantastic in fact even when they don't have lane markings now it's still able to identify which lane it should be in and in the bmw world in the display everything is a bmw car which means that that looks very funky and nice and my goodness amazing <laughs> random he's intentionally walking in the right most lane suicide attempt i don't know and that's where the m breaks and the m differential and the m this and the m that and the m blah 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 comes into picture another set of photo shoot done right now let's get it do it but everyone is feeling hungry everyone matlab hum dono hi feel kar rahe hain actually yahi feel kar rahe hain hungry main to waise itna bhooka nahi rehta so i am like theek hai chalo yahan pe kha lete hain aaju baaju ko sakha nikle aur aaj mujhe youtube live bhi karna hai so i will like ye karte hain thode se reels lete hain then i'll do youtube live then i'll go home sleep for 3 hours and then come for the walk around that is the plan for the day guys ab kya khaoge mera dimag ki seva chicken lasagna don't scratch that part but you do it Abhi you were saying order one of everything just because it's my treat. I said English breakfast ek order karenge usme do teen cheeze hai. Britishers I kaid karke hame nikal gaye aur you still want to eat british. And you Shame speak in English you. and you just give your vlogs in English jabki yeah, log demand karte hai ki hindi mein do par hindi to aati hi nahi hai aapko. Hum hindi mein vartalaap karte hain. Vartalaap is not a hindi word you know. Vartalaap is an urdu word. What? <laughs> What? Exactly three seconds ago, she was taking selfies. I'm not kidding. क्या हुआ? Camera कहाँ गया? Bullshit. Why do you like bull shit? It means every time you everything bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Can you see the camera now? Yeah. 
तो ये शक्ल ठीक कर दो ना बाल खराब आ रहे हैं आपके अरे शक्ल ठीक कर दो आपके बाल खराब आ रहे हैं अच्छा टाइम समझ कितनी सेल्फी ली गाड़ी के साथ एक भी नहीं झूठी आई डोंक द कार Is it fast? Is it fun? How does it corner? How does it break? What is the stability like? Do you feel that the front stability. axle is too loaded and under heavy acceleration? Stability Do you think the power is here biased? Do you like the M active differential? It's a little wavy. Whenever you apply a brake, it's wavy. Whenever you're going towards the corners, it's wavy. In fact, kabi kabi toh aise lagta hai ki lane control automatic chalu ho gaya, jabki it's off. It goes like it weaves here and there. It's like arey ruk ja, ruk ja. Aise. So except for this, except for this. क्या अरे रुक जा नहीं बोलते देर इज अ पेडल नीचे उसको दबाते ना तो गाड़ी ब्रेक अप्लाई करने पे भी तो वेव हो रही है यू नो व्हाट थिंग इज इट्स ऑल अबाउट ड्राइविंग स्किल You have to counter steer it every that's single time, skill. and you know that. That's the skill you this car demands from you. That's why it is so much more fun to drive. It has a lot of power, but stability could be better. Because you're not getting one point. You know what Spider told me. Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility. And the responsibility over here is just to you know make sure that it doesn't go haywire. But that's the fun of the car. It is so freaking amazing to drive. Like next level fun, next level edginess because of which your heart is in your mouth. Because your heart is in your mouth. And another thing is, key speed feel नहीं होती है because suspension is really nice. Yeah, but I feel the speed because when you come to a corner at those speeds, <laughs> you're like O M G, <laughs> and then you say A M G because. AMG is handled so much better. ये BMW का वीडियो है. Oh, thanks for reminding. <laughs> Almost everything is done. अभी थोड़े reel shoot करेंगे, walk around shoot करना है. वो मैं बाद में करूँगा. घर जाऊँगा, lunch खाऊँगा, तो rest करूँगा, recharge होऊँगा. Then I will come in the evening to shoot that because light is very harsh right now. But that's it. I'm going to shut vlogging for the moment because अभी I'm thinking मैं जस्ट गाड़ी enjoy करता हूँ. Keep every equipment at home because every time you accelerate, obviously things fly from here to there, which you don't want should happen. But I honestly love the BMW M8. I think it's fantastic. I am just waiting for the competition version to come to India, and once that happens, well, we're going to do another video. We're going to have more fun because it's faster from zero to 100 kilometers per hour by 0.1 seconds. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's a like button, and also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye bye.